Hi everyone, welcome to Mr. Wagid's math class. Numbers are everywhere in math. We learned how to read them and we also learned how to write them in different forms. So let's review some of the forms we write numbers with. For example, standard form. We all know what standard form is, which is writing numbers using digits. As an example, 138.6, when you write them with the digits like this, it's called the standard form. We also write numbers in expanded form. An expanded form, numbers written showing the place value of each digit, which means if I take this number, 138.6, I need to show the place value of each digit. One is in the hundred place. So if I take one multiplied by a hundred, that gives me the hundred. Add it to three times 10 because three is in the tenth place. Add it to eight times one because eight in the ones place. Add it to six times point one because six is in the tenth place. So that's called expanded form. Another form we learned last lesson, which is exponent form. An exponent form is using base and exponent just like 7 to the power 3 or even 10 to the power of negative 6. Some of the lessons we learned before explains that negative exponent only means small numbers between 0 and 1. For today's lesson, we will read numbers in scientific notation and know the value of the number when we write it in standard form using all the digits. So what is scientific notation form? Scientific notation represents the product of a factor more or equal to one and less than 10 and a power of 10. Let me explain what that means with an example. 6.2, this is the factor, time a power of 10, which is 10 to the power of negative eight. 6.2 is the factor and this factor or that number has to be more or equal to one and less than 10. So it could be between one exactly to 9.999999, but you can't reach 10. 10 to the power of negative eight, this is the power of 10. If the exponent is negative, that means the number is a small number between zero and one. It does not mean this is a negative number. It only means this is a small number between zero and one. So now let's see if those numbers are written in scientific notation form. Keep in mind, scientific notation should have a factor between one and 9.999, which means the factor has to be more or equal to one or less than 10 multiplied by a power of 10. That's what scientific notation is. So look at the first example, 3.28 times 10 to the power of six. The first thing to look at is the factor. The factor is 3.28, which is more than one and less than 10, multiplied by a power of 10. So yes, it is written in scientific notation. Now look at the second example, 45 times 10 to the power of negative nine. The first thing to look at is the factor. The factor is 45, which is more than 10. So right away, it's not written in scientific notation because the factor has to be more or equal to one less than 10. The last example, 0 0.18 times 10 to the power of 25. Again, look at the factor first. The factor is 0 0.18, which is less than one. So it's not written in scientific notation. Now here's an example. Write the number in standard form. The number is in scientific notation because it has a factor that is between one and 9.9 .9, multiplied by 10 to the power of negative five. How do we change it to standard form? Standard form, if you remember, is using all the digits, which means you need to get rid of the power of 10. Your first clue is the exponent. Since you have an exponent of negative five, which means 10 to the power of negative five. Remember, negative exponent means a small number between zero and one. So it's a decimal between zero and one. 
Now I need you to think about your number line. If you go to the left, numbers get smaller. And if you go to the right, numbers get bigger in value. So if you have a 3.12, how do I make this number smaller? Because you have a negative exponent between zero and one. You, if the exponent is negative, move the decimal to the left. The exponent is negative five, so move the decimal to the left five times. So write the number 3.12. Now here is the decimal. Move it one time, two times, three times, four times, five times, and now put the decimal here. But make sure you take that decimal off because you can't have two decimals on the same number. Fill out the empty spaces with zeros and then rewrite it again on the bottom to make sure this is the answer you got, which is 0 0.00005. Watch how this is the standard form and this is the scientific notation form of the same value. Negative exponent is an indication the number has a small value between zero and one, and here's a proof of that. Here's another example, write the number in standard form. It's written in scientific notation because it has a factor 1.8 times a power of 10. But watch how the exponent this time is a positive exponent. So this has to be a big number. If the exponent is positive, move the decimal to the right because that's how on your number line, if you move to the right, the numbers get bigger. So how do I make that number looks bigger with all the digits? The exponent is positive seven, so move the decimal to the right seven times. So you have the number, write it down, and now move the decimal to the right to make the number bigger. Seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now put the decimal, but make sure you erase that original decimal because you can't have two on the same number. And fill out the empty spaces with zeros. Write the number again. You end up with 18 million and that's a huge number so positive exponent is an indication the number has a huge value here's a word problem that makes sense to you guys now the average size of the coronavirus is 50 nanometer in diameter very small what is the average size in millimeter write your answer in standard form knowing that one nanometer equals one times 10 to the power of negative six millimeters. So we're gonna convert from nanometer to millimeter to see how big the size of the coronavirus. So now we have the scientific notation, one times 10 to the power of negative six millimeter. Write this number in standard form by moving the decimal to the left six times because you have a negative exponent, you need to make that number between zero and one, which is a decimal number. But you don't have a decimal, so what do you do? Insert a decimal right in front of the one, and then move it to the left six times, fill out empty spaces with zero, you end up with this number in standard form. So one nanometer, equals this number in millimeter. What about 50 nanometers? If one nanometer equals that number in millimeter, set up your ratio, and we can set it up nanometer to millimeter, one to the number in millimeter equals 50 nanometer per how many millimeter? Now cross multiply, you end up with this number in millimeter. That's how small that coronavirus is. That's another proof that the power with negative exponents are very small numbers between zero and one. And that's why we wear the mask in 2001, 2002 to protect us from the virus that's in the air around us so we don't get sick and infected with the coronavirus. Here's the last example for today's lesson. A Google is one times 10 to the power of 100. 
How many zeros are in Google? Since the number is 1 times 10 to the power of 100, the exponent is 100. That means there are 100 zeros in Google. And that's the main reason why we write numbers in scientific notation. I don't want to write 100 zero. That's a waste of time, waste of time and waste of effort. So we write in scientific notation to show huge numbers like Google or very small numbers like the size of the coronavirus. In conclusion for today's lesson, scientific notation, they have a factor equal or more than one less than 10 multiplied by a power of 10. To write those numbers in standard form, for example, 3.12 times 10 to the power of negative 5, if you have a negative exponents to the power of 10, you move the decimal to the left because negative exponent means a small number between 0 and 1. But if you have this example, 1.8 times 10 to the power of 7, and you have a positive exponent, you move the decimal to the right because positive exponents means big numbers. You don't have to memorize anything. If you know going to the left makes the number smaller, going to the right on a number line makes the numbers bigger. That's it for today's lesson. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and commenting on my videos. Have a great day. See you next time.